Okay. Dan, it is time to see the International Space Station like never before. All week it's going to be in, there, in our sky at convenient times, mostly in the evening hours. And if you've never seen it, this is a great time to learn how to look at it. And the ISS is getting bigger and bigger. Here's an animation showing the solar arrays. The latest one that was installed on it not only made it more possible for it to capture more of the sun's energy, it also made it more possible for us to see it because it's reflecting more sunlight. The solar array that's on there would cover the United States Senate chamber three times over and right now the International Space Station has the same living space as a typical five bedroom house. It is incredibly visible when it goes over. Here's what it looks like in the sky. If this is an exposure that someone took kind of leaving the, the uh, lens open, if you will, and you can see that it makes a streak. So you're seeing just about how big this thing is kind of looks like a star in the sky, but it moves at a very good clip and a very steady clip. Let's show you some more things about the ISS and how you can see it. This is what we've been looking at for the past couple of nights, kind of starting down here and moving up in the up from the horizon as we go into the next 24 hours, what we're going to see, I'll show you this one more time. I want to show you this animation because it didn't pause as I wanted it to. Tomorrow night in the northwest horizon, you'll see it take off from about 10 degrees above the horizon. It will pop into view. It doesn't rise like a star. It pops into view. Then it will take off and head toward the southeast. So it'll start in the northwest horizon tomorrow night at 605. All of that's at the bottom of our weather page in the weather toolbox. Coming up in your first alert forecast, we've got cooler weather on the way. All right, thanks, Chuck.